I believe out of all the suspects of Jack the Ripper that David Cohen seems the most likely, mainly because to commit crimes that brutal, I don't think the murderer would have just stopped, just given up on killing. So they'd either have to be, in my opinion, dead or locked up. So in this David Cohen person's case, and the name's not really David Cohen, they, right after the final Jack the Ripper murder, they were locked up in a um, mental asylum in the Colney Hatch Lunatic Asylum on the 7th of December 1888, which coincides with the end of the murders. David Cohen is just a name used by the police to spell a name that they couldn't really spell. And in this case, his real name is Nathan Kaminsky. And the coincidence here is that another police officer suspected someone named Kosminski, and therefore someone named Aaron Kosminski has been identified as a suspect, as one of the key, one of the prime suspects. But that was just because of the name Kosminski on its own. And it could have easily been a misinterpretation of Kaminsky. This David Cohen or Nathan Kaminsky person was a bootmaker who lived in Whitechapel and he had syphilis at one point. So it's possible that he got that from a prostitute and then he, you know, so he was dealing with prostitutes and then he would then target them and target these other women. He seemed like a, a violent man, someone who wasn't social, a loner, and he, he was a Jewish immigrant. Um, so that's probably why he got mixed up with the Aaron Kosminski. And he also wore, he was wearing a, a leather apron when he was identified by a police officer because he was a bootmaker. And he had very um, violent and destructive tendencies. So then he died in the asylum in 1889. So he never escaped. And there was no Jack the Ripper murders or murders like that after that point. So that indicates to me that it was likely someone like him, or it could have been him, who was locked up after the final murder and wasn't able to continue their murder spree. 